A couple great pieces of artwork can really set the mood of any room in your home. And if you do it yourself, you'll not only add a personal touch, but you'll save money too. That's right. Yeah. And yes, and definitely the personal touch. I've been to lots of houses and you walk in, it looks like a furniture store, right? Yes. And it's a lot of times because you're buying like pre-made art, not, whatever, <laughs> right. just to match the sofa. When you can do some stuff yourself, save money and make it a little more personal. I love that. And Lindy, you're going to show us how we can do do-it-yourself art for the non-artists. Right. right. So don't yes. be, don't, we were just talking before the segment and I'm intimidated and you're telling me don't be. Yeah, don't be. I'll, okay. And I'll show you how, okay? Okay. And how to do it cheaply. These two frames, for example, I think I sent you a picture of what they look like before. I don't know if you have them, but yes. I, they were from Goodwill and they looked like junk and they had old faded prints inside of them. And I love going to Goodwill. There they are. See, they're not exactly attractive. I got both of them for like $6, but matting and framing is expensive. So I always go to Goodwill and like upcycle things. Yes. Okay. And I actually bought this and I plan to repaint the um, frame but I changed my mind because my husband has, there's the watercolor. So I, what I did was I just took strokes with watercolor paint. Anybody can do that, a brush up and down. That looks so elegant, but, but it's, it's so easy. It is so easy. Yeah. And I just, especially for the non artsy there's the pictures of them hanging on the wall. You just simple strokes up and down. It makes it look like modern art. Yeah. And then I had this little, it's called precious metal effect paint. I've used this a couple of times in these projects. And it just gives that high gloss, metal-y, stripe down the side so it makes it look um oh so that's yeah so it gives that. it a little okay. um different texture and it makes it look a little more contemporary and that's something easy just strokes up and down your um watercolor paper put them in an old upcycled frame with a mat and you've got some art oh my gosh and use whatever colors you like okay okay our next project here <laughs> is uh, super simple to do. And I love the way this turned out. Um, I haven't put the hook on the back yet, but we will. And this is just popsicle sticks, mm -hmm. okay? And we just spray painted them. Um, and I'll show you like, just a plain old popsicle craft stick. Mm -hmm. If you eat lots of, maybe this is the best summer project. Use your, recycle your popsicle sticks from summer and uh, paint them. Yeah. And so there, well, I painted them all with spray paint. I used a stain and then I used a couple different colors and then we put them in a little pattern. And I did not do like red, blue, white, red. I did, as you can see, like sometimes there's like two reds together, two blues together, because you want it to look um, more artistic instead of like <laughs> a... Unless you have OCD and then... <laughs> well, I know. But if, if, a G can, if my eyes. husband can tolerate this project, then you can too. Okay. <laughs> but um, this is something I did actually with my son. He's three years old and he helped me even spray paint a little bit, which I don't recommend that part. And this is just a piece of this, plywood? This was leftover wood from a headboard I made. And yeah, it's just a piece of plywood. It's called the blonde wood plywood. Okay. And it's really inexpensive. Wow. You can get the whole huge sheet for like 20 bucks. And then I've had so many leftover. Yeah. But I used um, wood glue and glued all these down and just did a different pattern. Okay. And this one this is also from a frame from Goodwill. I don't know if you have a picture of this one too. It was a, had a really old 80s corny print in it and it was just a plain old wood frame. And I took the print out and I spray painted this frame. There it was, see, not very attractive. And I used this, um, it's called Robin, Robin Egg Blue spray paint and just spray painted it. It had took about three coats to fully cover it. Mm -hmm. And um, this is again, watercolor paper. And I just brought this tool in. I've, I've obviously got lots of use out of it. I used this last yeah. week. It's the little hole puncher that makes little scalloped shapes. And I used tissue paper. Tissue paper. And I used a glue stick, because if you use globs of glue, then you'll have big globs of glue on here. And right. just kind of made a little pattern with the tissue paper, used different colors, overlaid them every now and then. And then are these just and, little splotches of your... Yes, and so I, again, use precious the same metal. precious metal paint. And just for the non-artist or for in anybody, you can paint a little square. It's so easy to use. Just use a nice paintbrush, paint a square, and just kind of make a little pattern in there. And that's, I, I love this. I thought this turned out really cute. I'm gonna put it in our um, craft room. Yeah. It's part of our art in there. It's very cute. Okay, and our final and, piece here. And again, spray paint obviously has been the theme here, which I usually don't use spray paint swap, okay. swap spots here. For canvases, I often paint it myself, but for people that really don't have a lot of art supplies and don't paint, spray paint you can get so many uses out of. So I did the same thing. I used two different colors, blue, mm -hmm. that were in the same color family, and just did different 
textures and you can see how I did it there on the driveway and then I added a couple of the silver back here just to add a little dimension and then I painted just a heart with red acrylic paint which is easy can you paint a heart I can paint a okay, heart. Okay, so I figured this would be pretty simple for yeah. you to do. And then, um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, but all of my craft supplies came from Joan Fabric and Craft Stores, like always, um, it, or upcycled. And this came from their, um, one of their craft aisles, and they're really wall, wall stencils. Mm -hmm. They're called wall vanity plates. And so they were little mirror things you can stick on the wall, but I just stuck them to the canvas, mm -hmm. added the heart, and I thought this is something really pretty you could just put in your house and it looks like a custom piece of artwork. Yeah, and actually this one I'm giving away. We're giving this one away. Right. Okay. I, my walls cannot handle any more art. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is beautiful. So for your chance to win this uh, really cool piece of art, head to Lindy's Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Lindy Tree and type in art and you'll choose a winner. Um, well, later today? Yeah, or? we'll choose it later today. Okay, and I'll so leave it here today. at the station to pick up. So. Okay, great. So again, facebook.com slash Tree. Type in art and be sure to like her page if you haven't already. Yeah. All right, Lindy, thanks a lot. Right, thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching Daytime Blue Ridge. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Blue Ridge. 